So I want to start this off by addressing a few things in my last video. First off, I did not know this song right here was a reimagining of an old song by Blood on the Dance Floor. I never really got into them. I also didn't like the original. And we won't talk about them. Secondly, I really slept on the cover art for this song. It's very minimal, but if you look at it and listen to the song, it kind of feels like you're stuck at the bottom of the ocean. And lastly, I left off two songs from the first week of January, and they are... Dreams by Chloe Moriando. Nice cover of the Fleetwood Mac original that stays pretty faithful, but has just a slightly different vibe. And Toast by Conway the Machine and Big Ghost Limited. Some East Coast hip-hop, nice vibes, and decent enough lyrics. Alright, now let's get into this. I'm still way behind. These are the tracks from the second week of January. I will list these in alphabetical order, and one of them will be deemed my track of the week. If I mispronounce anything, I apologize. Always listen to the song first and the music video second. Links to the songs will be in the description. I have 24 tracks for you this week, starting with... S.E.X. by Aesthetic Perfection, featuring Sebastian Svaland. Okay, hear me out. I didn't think I was going to like this, and in some ways it's kind of so bad it's good, but mostly it's just a surprisingly good piece of industrial metal. The vocal effects tone down a lot of the potential cheesiness. That little scream he does kind of reminds me of Broken Side. Just listen to it. Somehow it's not as bad as you would think. Yus da Basinda by Alten Gun, which translates to Sublime Mountain at the Beginning by Gold Day. The vocal melody kind of reminds me of Daler Mendy, the guy who did Tunak Tunak Tun, and for some reason part of the music reminds me of that one sex scene from Hostel. Maybe even a little Depeche Mode for good effect? Nonetheless, it's a really catchy Turkish song, with a lot of interesting sounds, and I really like that artwork. Dookie Season by Babytron and RMC Mike. I've been a fan of Babytron since I first heard him with his group Shitty Boys, First time hearing RMC Mike, and he's pretty decent. Got kind of a rugged voice. This is a trap song. It's about two minutes. They're kind of just going back and forth having fun. Very reminiscent of TJX6 and Kasher Kwan. Teeth Bared by Bianco. This is an electronic dance song. I like all the different sounds coming from this one, and that bass drop around the two minute mark is massive. And this is one where I gotta say the music video enhances the song even further, so check out that too. Track X by Black Country, New Road. It seems to tell the story of the binding of Isaac, but with his own personal account or allusions to that story. They remind me of Slint, and they actually do mention them in their track Science Fair. How they are the second best Slint tribute act. But yeah, check this one out. The lyrics and the guitar really make this mesmerizing. I Can Help by Charlie Crockett. Some nice, uplifting country blues. Doesn't he kind of look like Ed Bassmaster? Crap Ma Stank. Self Destructor by Chevelle. First new Chevelle song in four and a half years, which has been the longest wait ever for them in between new material. It's off their upcoming album, Neurotius, which is an acronym for Nothing is Real and This is a Simulation. Funny story, I was actually watching videos about how we could be living in a simulation earlier in the day when the album title and everything was announced. We seem to be on the same wavelength, and that's probably why they've been my favorite band since 2005. Very underrated band, and something that I've always liked that they do in this song is their usage of humming. I can't think of too many bands that do that, especially not in alternative metal. The song kind of reminds me of old school Dead Letter Circus, but the song structure reminds me more of like old R.E.M. And the end sounds a little like the end of Epic by Faith No More, which I later found out was intentional. I was watching an interview with them and they gave credit to that song for inspiration. And check out the music video for this. It kind of has some X-Files vibes or Supernatural even. And I kind of like that artwork. I didn't even realize that was a magic 8-ball until I made this video. Hulu Doesn't Just Have Live Sports by Dame Dalla. For those of you who don't know, this is basketball player Damian Lillard. I actually heard this in a commercial for Hulu, which is exactly what I thought when I first heard this was, they really need to use this for advertisement. Nice beat and nice flow, just a catchy song. But HBO Max is still better. 
King Tars by Empire Bathtub. I'm not entirely sure about the lyrics or how that side of the song sounds, but I really like the heaviness of this thing and how it builds up, especially when you get to that three minute mark. It looks like their last album was a progressive metal concept album, possibly from their own story, so that will give you just a little something to go off of before hearing this. Figaro, Farewell MF Doom by Jawby featuring Latarnik. This is a group from Pakistan. This was a spontaneous tribute to the late hip-hop icon MF Doom. Rest in peace. It's a really nice, jazzy hip-hop instrumental, inspired by the song Figaro off his classic Mad Villain album with Mad Lib called Mad Villainy. And I really dig that artwork. Alive After Death by John Carpenter. Kind of a weird transition. Uh, Carpenter is most well-known for directing and composing the soundtrack for the horror classic Halloween, and my personal favorite of his, Big Trouble in Little China. I'm not sure if this will be used in a movie or not, I actually thought he died when I saw the title of this, but he is alive and well, thankfully. Although this has a very ominous feeling to it. But I mean, that's John Carpenter for you, I wouldn't really expect anything else. And that guitar work at the end is awesome. Chemtrails Over the Country Club by Lana Del Rey. I really liked her last album so much that I bought it the same day the new Tool album had came out. This one gives me laying down on a blanket staring up at the night sky vibes. Really pretty. And pretty artwork too. Pepitas by Manuel Garcia. It's a testament to how good a song is when you can't even speak the language, but you can feel every word and note. Beautiful acoustic song by the Chilean songwriter. I'm Staying Home by Mono Lord. Some really nice, doomy stoner metal. Great guitar work, and I love that artwork. Bad Day by Nick Caution, featuring Denzel Curry. Member of Beast Coast and Pro Era. Some East Coast hip-hop, only two and a half minutes. The Spongebob and NBA Jam references in the beginning was enough to hook me, but this song goes pretty hard. Denzel rarely takes a misstep, and once again, I love that artwork. Field Guide to the Night Sky by Oat Mellow. Two and a half minutes just isn't enough. A really chill, lo-fi instrumental that left me craving more. Looks like this is the first piece of music he's came out with. One to look out for. And there's a performance video of this which is also worth checking out if you want just a little more imagery than what the song, the artwork, and the song title gives you. Obsolete by Of Mice and Men. I normally don't care for metalcore, but this isn't too shabby. I like how clean the screams are, yet still really aggressive, and I find the singing to be better than expected too as far as the genre goes, and the music video is worth checking out too. Inferno by Orden Ogan. It seemed kind of cheesy at first, but then I realized how much the chorus sounds like the band Ghost, and that quickly changed my perspective because I do like my fair share of ghosts. A nice power metal song coming from Germany, but don't worry, it is in English. Laugh Cry Dubtron by Pilot Red Sky. So this was done by a YouTuber going by the name of Pilot Red Sun, but he seems to now be going by Pilot Red Sky. This track gives me living in a cartoon vibes. Or, um, living in a simulation. <clears throat> and that artwork definitely captures the vibe of the song. Pound Town by Rio de Young OG and RMC Mike. Shout out to Mike for being on two tracks this week. It's kind of the same formula as the one with Babytron. They're just going back and forth, kind of trading lines. And it's just a fun trap song that's a little under two minutes. Scapegoat by Starified. Some more stoner metal for you. Kind of gives me more recent Mastodon vibes, especially in the chorus. Brick by Brick by Varg Skelethor. That's a tongue twister. This is a YouTuber named Joel who is part of Vine Sauce, doing a humorous speed and thrash metal cover of a song from the video game Lego Island. This is awesome, you just gotta check it out. Space Oddity by We Are King. This is an African American female R&B trio doing a psychedelic soul cover of the David Bowie original, with a little bit of those R&B flavorings. It doesn't stray too far from the original, but it does create an entirely different vibe. Lovely stuff and cool cover. All My Favorite Songs by Weezer. This song sounds like it was written by me. 
All right, joking aside, it's good to hear Weezer coming back with a string of hits, and this one is probably my favorite. Now for my track of the week. You probably could have guessed it. Self-Destructor by Chevelle. I've been hearing this on the radio very rarely, and it just sounds so different than anything else on the radio right now. But uh, for just a little unbiased track of the week, I'm going to go with Pepitas by Manuel Garcia. And that sums it up for this week's weekly track recommendations. Check the songs out, like the video because it helps the algorithm, subscribe, leave a comment if you want to, and stay tuned for more rad recommendations.